Hi friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I went to my Instagram a few days ago and asked for any suggestions on the type of videos um, some of you might want to see and one of them was asking about my TN or Traveler's Company Notebooks collection. And here are all of the journals I have with me here in my home in Italy. I am going to California for the summer where my family is from and I've ordered um, a few journals, a few covers that I've purchased from a D-Stash. Another one is the new Olive Passport. So I do have technically three more than what you see here. And once I do get to California, I'll be doing a what did I bring video or what am I going to have during my vacation there. I'm not bringing all of my collection as much as I wish I could. I thought, you know, it would be really fun to bring everything when I do a journaling meetup or for the stamp caravan. But in reality, if I brought everything, it wouldn't really get used. So to save on luggage space and to bring back goodies, I'm going to take whatever's pretty much active and taking into account the journal covers or the TN covers that I have waiting for me in California, which I will be moving into right away. So let's start by size. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up so it's clutter-free. Let's start with the smallest in my collection. <laughs> this is the mini Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook. It was from their 10th Traveler's Notebook anniversary. And I have the camel cover that came with the blue tin and it's funny because the little tin on there is actual size <laughs> of what the notebook actually is um, so I was able to purchase this from someone in the Facebook group it is the Midori and Travelers Company Facebook group 90% of my purchases have been from them I personally am a shopper that loves to hunt and research. I think half of the fun is searching and looking for things, especially when you come late into the game with Traveler's Company. I started just in 2022 and I have a sizable collection, but when I saw this tin, I really wanted it. It had a bunch of goodies, but it's empty now. This actually holds all of my Traveler's Company canvas bags. But I will be honest and say that I purchased this because I really wanted the tin. And lucky for me, I was able to purchase it at retail value. So I didn't have to pay a crazy upcharge for it. That was very kind of the person selling. And I have yet to um, get into this notebook. I did set up the inserts this is the first time i'm actually opening this up again since setting this up and it's so cute um now i'm considering on bringing this little thing with me <laughs> i love to use this as photo props and almost like a where's the mini tn like a where's waldo kind of thing so i set up two inserts um both are blank inserts they i think it does it come with lined and dot grid? I don't think. I think they're all blank. Um, but everything comes individually with the covers and they give you all the pages for you to set up. And I used my own staple to um, do that. And these were the little stickers that came with the set. So very cute. I have, I don't know what to uh, <laughs> journal in these yet. Um, I actually used an elastic from my daughter's like hair elastic <laughs> as the uh, connecting band there. All right, that is my smallest TN. And the charm on it is just so adorable too. Moving on to my passport, I have three here and one that I'm waiting for. It is the new Olive Passport and I bought it from B 
BK and got it customized right away, which is why I do not have it. And the traveler's records, what I have in here, will be moved into the new Olive Passport. So let's open this one up first. I got this traveler's records um, new in box, but from someone who had originally purchased it and decided that they didn't want it again on the Facebook group. So really lucky to have been able to get this um, because by the time that I saw it and really wanted it, it was sold out everywhere. I do not have um, any of the limited charms on them. I'm actually going to be storing away this journal and leaving it here in my home in Italy. But I have housed all of my partner stamp items. So this I would call my stamp caravan journal. I will be removing all these inserts and moving them into my new olive passport when I get them. But the cover here is decorated with some official TRC stamps that were stamped on the box from my orders with Inuksha of Japan, Taizo, or with Jomel on Instagram. And it's such a nice way to decorate this cover and just really commemorate the craftsmanship of Traveler's Company. So in here I house all of my partner stamps that I collect. I, If I personally stamp them myself and I'm in there in person, it goes right in the journal. But I have been lucky to obtain some stamps this one from good postage that the company or the shop sent me when i ordered my traveler's diner this one is from a dear friend michelle who lives in new zealand and sent me this one i have another one from a friend in amsterdam and one from yoseka that i have to put in here still my very first official partner shop was Stilo and Style in Rome, just two hours from me. Uh, we visited Prague. Then Lucky Spain. Madrid, Spain has two in Madrid. And it was really great to see that when I asked for the partner shop, they actually had even more stamps specific to their shop. And then the second one in Madrid, Papaliari. Papeleria <laughs> Timpode. Okay, I'm not going to pronounce any names anymore. So this one is another one special to Madrid. Um, we traveled to Vienna for the stamp caravan and that was such a treat. So I do have a stamp caravan insert from them, um, from that event rather. Might as well... Might as well show it off. Let's see, where is it? Um, I got this accordion fold insert and I saw the idea from Instagram and I just really loved the idea of being able to see all of these stamp caravan stamps. This might be something that I do anytime I can visit a stamp caravan. So I'm glad that the accordion insert is now permanent collection. So. This could be something to collect over the years when I attend stamp caravans. So that's this insert. And the next one is the California passport insert. I don't have a plan for this yet, but I do want it to be related in terms of cafe journaling, journal meetups in California, and the stamp caravan event I will be attending in July. And then lastly here is a lightweight paper insert. I really like this insert for collecting extra stamps from the caravan. It has perforated pages and I stamp as many extras as I can and I will use this to either send to friends, happy mail, or use in journal spreads. And there you go. I really recommend this because it's Thin, it soaks the stamp ink really well and um, you're able to paste it onto journal pages without making it very thick since the Midori paper um, is already thick on its own. So there you go. Next let's look at my Starbucks Reserve Roastery. 
Another one that I found on the Facebook group page, this one was pre-loved in great condition and again, really lucky to have been able to get it at such a reasonable price. So the charm I did get from Inukshuk Japan over on Etsy or on Instagram. I love how this whole color combination is with the rose gold, the olive band, and camel. In here is my coffee journal. So anything related to coffee shops, coffee recipes I'm trying, I put in here. I have the uh, Faroof canvas zipper pouch here, and then the Starbucks Reserve Roastery insert. Show you a quick little flip through. Um, in here, I will put some recipes that I'm really enjoying anything related to coffee such as the fall for pumpkin spice lattes um, really loved this coffee creamer when i found it but i can no longer find it i think it's like a seasonal one which is the coffee mate brown butter um, and then any special cafes visiting um, i had to do one in regards to vienna there's just a huge coffee culture there and then my birthday went to starbucks <laughs> so there you go. It's not something that I journal in very often, but I love coffee and I have a lot of coffee themed stickers and stamps. So it is a fun insert to journal with. And there you go. This is the coffee trip canvas bag. Also got this from Inukshuk Japan. Last but not least in the passports is my traveler's train. I picked this up in store at Papeleria de Bode in Madrid, Spain. When I turned the corner and saw that they had stacks of passport notebooks from the 2022 limited editions, I gasped <laughs> and had to have it. I never considered trying to find it. I just kind of accepted fate that all of the um, passport editions from the 2022 release, which were the records and the train. I just kind of accepted it was going to be hard to find because they were already sold out by the time I discovered Traveler's Company. But I was pretty lucky with this one and I was very even more lucky with this. I sent it in to Baumkuchen Studio in California to get it customized and this is my wallet. I asked for inside pockets the wallet pockets i have my id and bank cards which i'm gonna take out <laughs> so i keep my id bank cards more cards can fit in here too the other customization i did was another card holder pocket and then the zipper pocket um, i live in italy and um, some places are still using only cash or euro so this has been really helpful to hold my euro coins any cash I, it can fit extra cards in there and this has been my wallet i call it my everyday carry this insert here is by sweet freckle designs and it is my bullet journal i write down any tasks grocery lists for my upcoming travel i'm putting in my packing list um what to do before we leave, like cleaning the house. I'll put our travel and flight information here, and this is my everyday carry. In here is a craft folder that I stamped at the stamp caravan, and in it holds any receipts. I do have some stamps for when I do happy mail, some coffee themed stickers to decorate my insert, and then, um, just basically have this to hold any extra papers that I might need. Um, and then more cards here in the back. And this has got to be my favorite. It's the most functional and having customized it um, really just elevated the look as well as made it very functional. So I would have to say this is my favorite as much as I love camel and coffee. This was my favorite for a while. Um, I'm a little scared to customize it just because I don't need another wallet style. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I do with this one in the future. 
So there you have it. These are my three passports. Okay, moving along to my standards, let's start with the camels or the browns. I have the Traveler's Diner, Traveler's Train, and Superior Labor. These are all my browns or camel. This one was uh, sold as a brown, but I've since learned that they used a dark batch of camels to sell this in 2017, I believe. Um, so let's go through this collection. Um, the Traveler's Diner was my first brand new order from Traveler's Company released directly. Um, so I didn't get this exactly from Traveler's Company website. I think I pre-ordered from Good Postage and that's how I obtained their partner stamp. Um, this is the charm that it comes with but I don't have it on since I am getting ready to put these back in their boxes since I'm not bringing the Traveler's Diner on my trip. I added a lobster clasp to the mini chain and I really love it here. I don't really use the bookmarks inside of the TN so I and I wanted to show this off instead of have it dangle at the bottom and I love that it's a coffee mug. So this is the Traveler's Diner. It is not an active journal for me right now. I just have the insert that it came with. I did bring the insert with me to a stamp caravan so that I could have the Traveler's Diner stamp permanently in this insert. I have yet to use a limited edition insert. All of them I immediately put into a um, plastic cover and kind of file away I think that I'd have to have something very special in order to start and move into one of the inserts so there you go this is a very fun one I love the diner theme I really love that they have designed canvas bags to go with the um to go with the journals, sorry. <laughs> there you go. I do wish that they played more into the checker design with the Traveler's Diner, because I really love the checkered and I think it just speaks to the diner aesthetic and the nostalgia. Okay, next, let's go over my active journals now. This is the Traveler's Train from Tokyo Station, and I also purchased this off of the Facebook group, another very lucky find. And this has my dated Traveler's Company inserts. So first I have a B-Sides and Rarities Traveler's Company Olive Canvas Pouch. What a mouthful that was. <laughs> and I believe the olive color is now permanent collection in Japan, so it should be a lot easier to find these from resellers now. Hopefully it will become permanent collection in the US. This first insert here is my weekly vertical. I decorated it with pet tape and this is housing January through June. I will be on my trip through August, so I've got to remember to bring the second half of the year. Then is the 2023 monthly and I use this for my highlights. Um, both journals, both inserts. I only write down highlights of the day. So there's the current month. Um, I just set this up so you're gonna have to excuse little label here. I have a hard time remembering or even going through what are in my canvas inserts if I can't see them. A lot of the zipper or organization inserts I have are clear or plastic so I can see in them but as much as I love the olive and the canvas and the higher quality construction I forget what's in here. <laughs> so for my trip I am bringing some pet tape to share with others and hopefully this will remember me to bring them out so I can actually share them with friends. For the charm, this charm I picked up during the Vienna Stamp Caravan 
and it is the Traveler's Factory Fly to the World from Japan charm. Next is my Superior Labor. I have done a video solely on this um, notebook, so I'm not going to go too in-depth into it, but I did get this from Facebook as well, but this time I think this was specifically from the Superior Labor Buy and Sell Trade Group. Um, the previous owner removed the tin and kept the elastic intact from the inside. So with this, I do intend to put the tin back on. I feel like it's just part of the look and the construction of Traveler's Company, but for the time being, it's holding on and I don't mind it too much. But this is my ephemera journal or stationary journal. It holds all of the things that I use to decorate with. So it has um, some loose paper ephemera for collage journaling. This is the card file insert that I separated and allowed for a bigger pocket. And this is holding all of my pet tape. And then I have here in the back some more loose papers. If you want to see more in depth about this journal, I do have a whole separate video on just this TN. I love this so much and I love that I can actually use one of my journals. Before I had I think about two or three separate pouches and tins just to hold all of this. So I'm glad it's all in one place and ready for traveling. So these are my camels. I do have one brown. It is just a plain standard brown that is waiting for me in California. Um, so that's just the one missing from my browns. Okay, last but not least are my olive standards. I have here side by side the original 2017 release and then the 2023 olive release, but with a lot of customization to this one. This OG olive I've deemed my travel journal. It's gone with me to all of my trips around Europe. Um, it always houses the current travel journal that I'm working on. I have this one for Vienna and stamped the cover from the stamp caravan. It is not finished. I have basically um, <laughs> abandoned this journal. I have to finish it still. I'm about 50-50 halfway. Um, so you'll see a sneak peek here and all the blank pages, but I have a lot of work to do in this still. And maybe I can finish this up during the first few weeks of my time in California. So then I can move on to my California travel journal without completely forgetting to finish this one. So it's kind of 50-50. I think it's mostly writing that I have to do. Unfortunately for me, I don't have a very good memory. I did keep some notes, but a significant time has passed that I might not remember all that I wanted to write. But I'm glad that I got some of the more exciting spreads out of the way. I think now it's mostly about restaurants <laughs> that I have left. There you go. And the charm that I have on this is this adorable luggage tag. I was really, really hoping to find this luggage tag in person at one of the shops, and I did. I found this at Papeleria de Bod in Madrid, Spain. I swear that store had everything that is hard to find online. And I think the reason being is that you can't order from Papeleria online. They're an in-person shop only. And if you do order over the phone with them, it has to be in-store pickup. So I was definitely very lucky to be able to find some of these items in store. Okay, I promise we're getting to the end of the video. Sorry for all the rambling. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I could go on, on and on and on. <laughs> so here is the next olive, the 2023. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know all the controversial things that I did to this cover to get it to the screen. If you do not follow me there, 
let me tell you. First, I rolled it. I rolled it like I was baking a batch of cookies or dough that really needed to be kneaded out. Like I went crazy on it. And it did lift a lot of the color up. I'll see if I have any photos or a video of it that I can share here on the side. Um, and it lightened up a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked. I had seen that whenever someone did a customization like with Bamkuhen or if they were painting, they would lay down some washi tape to either you know, guard the rest of the TN while they were sewing or put some washi tape to paint on some strips. And I always noticed that when the washi was lifted up, it did lighten that area, but if you rubbed your finger, it would go away. So I wondered what would happen if you took really, really, really strong tape and stripped it. And I will put a video clip right here of what I did. If you saw that on Instagram, it was very, I don't want to say controversial, but it was very shocking <laughs> to everyone. Um, but I am now in love with my journal. And I think all that matters is that we find a way to love what we own. So let's open mine up. This is going to be my California Travel TN. I plan to get California theme or inspired patches, which I've already ordered. For example, California State, the California Flower, the Bird, um, and then the specific um, patch from where I live. And then I, in here I have clear zipper insert. I have a Bob Kuhin Travel for Life wallet. These are some special washies that I got from a friend. I don't actually plan on using them. It's more decorative in here. And then in the back here, I have my um, limited edition stickers. I'm actually bringing all of them that I have, and that is because I'm going to take them to an office shop and scan them for my own personal use. I got the idea from a dear friend, Ida, and she doesn't actually use the original stickers. I can't bring myself to use the original stickers either, but so that we can enjoy them, I'm going to scan them from a office supply store so that I can cut them out, glue them for journaling, add them to covers without actually having to use the one original copy. Next is the Golden Coast insert. This is gonna be for my journaling about any events, family outings with friends, um, restaurants that we've been missing while we've been living in Italy. Next is the zipper portion. I don't have any plans of what's gonna go in here yet, maybe to collect any ephemera, um, but I do have a craft folder for that as well, collecting any ephemera. I have the Traveler's Company stickers back here. I do use the dot stickers quite a lot for one of my other journals. And then I have the plastic folder that is holding my um, pencil board. And then just some extra card, fi card <laughs> file spots that um, I'll probably fill in with some photos that I take throughout my trip. So not technically active, but it's set up for my upcoming trip. I think that's pretty much it. I do have a pretty big collection of travelers notebooks. Let's see if I can put them all together here. getting pretty pretty tall now <laughs> some of these inserts are really chunky okay can you see all of that one other thing that I have are these travelers company washi tapes I was able to get these from someone's D stash on Instagram and was very lucky to get to claim them. And these are great for journaling.
and how could I forget my little one there sorry little guy but I hope you enjoyed this video do be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this if you have any suggestions for future videos do leave it in the comments below